Hello, 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 it is Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrap It On The Go. This process video is for 30 Days of Sketches Series 9, hosted by the lovely, talented Christy of Christy's Beautiful Life. It is day 26, and our scrappy friend that is bringing us a sketch is the awesome Sarah Scraps. Isn't this a great, versatile, sketch. I love it, love it, love it. So it appears we have two very large photographs. So I would say four by six, the standard size. However, you can shrink it and you could add three photographs, four photographs, depending on what is your pre preference of size of photographs to document. You'll notice here on the left hand side, we have a flower motif here. We have dots and circles. We have a title right here. Then under the photograph, we have some paper layering. Then we have some succulents and flowers, or you could use um, scallop edge borders. And then we have a cluster over here, which is just represented of a flower on this sketch. You could switch this out for any. Now let's look at the few items that I selected for my little page kit. Kit. It was a starting point. I definitely need to add more. I went searching through my older photographs of maybe some memories that I haven't yet documented. And I have not documented when my husband and I built our first home in Florida on three acres. So anyway, that's my photographs. Now, I selected the stickers from Jen Hadfield and they're from Fifth and Avenue. I also have these chipboard pieces from Cartabella, and it is Gather at Home. And then I have, so far, only two papers that I have selected, and that is the Cartabella Farmhouse Market from 2020. And then this Cartabella paper summer and let's see if we have a year on it it is from 2021 i'm going to pause the video create my layout come back and reveal it and go over everything that i added to the layout and this is my take I think it turned out wonderful. All right, for my flower clusters, I used the Cartabella 12 by 12 paper and fussy cut those flowers out. Now see how flat they are, but look how dimensional they look over here in the upper left-hand corner and the lower right-hand corner. How did I achieve that? easy. I just took my fingers and roughed up the edges and then I took little pieces of foam adhesive and popped them up. That just gives a more real look, gives that flow and dimensional look. But before I added those flower clusters, I used, let me get out my two stencils, I use this stencil here of circles, and that is a Paige Evans stencil. And then I use this one from Vicki Booten, mainly the little tiny circles here. And the ink I used for the circles was, or it was Lagoon, and it's a water-based dye ink from Close to My Heart. I love the color of that. Then I came in with the Dana Wakely Medium Gloss Spray in Rouge, and it was a little bit bright. So I came back with little tiny splatters of the Dana Wakely Gloss Spray in Carnation. Then I placed my flower clusters in the upper left-hand corner and lower right-hand corner. Those two spots dictated my clusters of adding other embellishments or titles. 
So can you see this little sticker here? That is from the Jen Hatfield collection called The Avenue. I never thought I would get that used. Then in the lower right hand corner, I used a house and this doggy. So I used three stickers from this sticker sheet. Then from the chipboard piece, from Cartabella Gather at Home. I used this round element here that says, let's gather together. And I used the very border that held the frame together and I placed it right there. So I used two chipboard pieces. My title. So I'm grateful for my home and I use the butterfly. So I took three pieces from the Simple Story Vintage Farmhouse Garden foam stickers. Then from my scrappy stash, I have these beautiful iridescent, they're like a diamond cut jewel with little jewels around it. I just love these and I hoarded them for a long time and they were given to me a few years ago by my scrappy friend, Mora. And, and that's it, my layout is complete. I do have space here to do journaling. I appreciate you all, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. You're a subscriber of my channel. And most of all, check out the other scrappy individuals that are playing along with 30 Days of Sketches series number nine. We will see you tomorrow for day 27. Bye.